If you clicked on this video, you obviously want to become a dribble god on 2K20. If that's the case, you're in luck. Coach 2 t will teach you every dribble god secret they don't want you to know. Even though it is August and this game is dead. So ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the world of dribbling on NBA 2K20. <laughs> I said the world of dribbling on NBA 2K20. Oh my god, I don't pay y'all enough to be doing this. So what's dribbling and what's not dribbling, you say? This is dribbling, this is dribbling, this is dribbling, but this is not dribbling. If you do this, you suck, you need to be deported off the planet. So the first thing you need to know about becoming a dribble guy, take off Kobe of Curry. I know barely you watching this video, you a left right and casual that barely knows how to do a moonwalk. And if that's the case, you need some new dribble guy seats, which I'm gonna show you later. It's not that hard to dribble this year, I promise. You can't be around here using Steph Curry and Pro 2 thinking you're glitchy because you spam fast combos that literally get boxed easily. So for step two into becoming a dribble guy, you have to pick your dribble style. So there's two dribble styles in this game. You got the Steezo dribble style, aka ISO, and you got the standstill dribble style, aka 17 dribbling. Honestly, it's up to you what looks better. I'm gonna give you an example of both styles. Give me the ball, bro. Not this again, bro. I need a ball for the whole game last game, bro. I'm wide open in the corner, bro. Guard me, bruh. Is this kid gonna pass? Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, I literally been leaving you wide open this whole position. Shoot the ball. Bro, you better guard me. Green. Oh my god, that kid was lost. What do you mean you lost? He literally stood in one spot that whole position. Hey, yo, bro, you good? <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. Hey, yo, bro, it's not that serious. Did you really think you were safe? I'll tell you, every move I do, you still can guard me, you imbecile. You is a disgrace on this planet that we live on. Bro, if you stay screaming, I'm off the whole game, bro. Don't even think about it. My style of dribbling, I honestly like to mix in both because I think it look good. But it's honestly up to you what you want to do. For step number three of becoming a dribble god, you have to stay in the mock court. If you want to become a dribble god, you got to stay in the mock court at all costs. Sweating day and night, getting no sleep, trying your hardest to find glitchy new moves no one knows. You don't eat, you don't shower, you don't go outside, you stay in the mock court till you find a new move to turn on Twitter just for that to get four lights because you're not clouded like that. Boy! The fourth tip into becoming a dribble guy. Buy Gatorade. Don't expect to be able to do this without a double bar on 2K20. The fact that 2K made it so you have to have this is ridiculous. This is a glass be scamming me for my VC this entire year. All I got is I was having some run. The fifth tip you need to become a dribble god on 2K20. Get used to getting spammed. So you finally learned some new combos and you're trying to pull it off in part. I'm here to tell you now, there's a rare chance you're gonna be able to pull that clip off. See, 2K made spam in the middle and patch one, so from here on out for the rest of the year, casual spam they ass off just cause they think patch one stealing is still in the game. And well, let's be honest, it kinda is, but it's not as bad as before. So for the sixth tip on how to become a dribble god, you have to go to this sacred place called ISO Parks. So if you actually want to get clips and play against other dribblers, you gotta get in the trenches and find dribblers and stay updated with them. I swear to god, these will get an empty park and turn that to ISO Park in seconds. It ain't even funny how fast they do it, bruh. For the seventh tip on how to become a dribble god, if you get in spam, do not pass. If you get in double teams, do not pass. If you get it played on nuts, do not pass. Only pass you absolutely have to. Get on the ball with three seconds left. They gonna green it. If they miss, that's on them. You suck. For the eighth tip, never use screens. I don't care what the situation is. Don't ever use them. Hey, I'm about to catch it. Suit you lacking. This man gonna have the nerve to cap it by screens. Y'all got some for it. Hey, you good, bro? Why you running up on me like that? Nah, bro, you got some nerd capping about using screens on God. Bro, what is you talking about? Bro, you dead uploaded videos and using screens. I got something for you, bro, on God. Hey, yo, let's get this up. Hey, yo, where they come from on God? I'm dipping. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way, bro. I gotta get gone. Bro, these people really want my neck, bro. 
<laughs> hey, you gotta hit this back way right here, bro. Oh, God, they ain't gonna get me. Bro, I, bro, I cannot run for long. I cannot lie. Oh, my God. I'm about to get caught. Hey, let's take, we're gonna take this route. Oh, nah, bro. Ain't no way. When my head was underwater.